Hey everybody, my name is Matt Siegel and I'm the curator of Husbandry and Records here at Boat Marine Laboratory and our aquarium. I want to thank you for joining us today. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about one of my favorite animals here in the aquarium, the sandbar sharks. So um, right now I'm standing up on top of our shark exhibit. I'm going to pan down here so you can see what I'm looking at. This is our shark exhibit and it really is a, a great exhibit for sharks. It was designed for sharks. It's kind of a, a dog bone shape. It's made so sharks have plenty of room to swim in here, able to have both a gliding pattern and plenty of room to, um, to turn as they're swimming. It's 135,000 gallons of water, over 70 feet long and over 40 feet wide. So like I said, a great exhibit for our sharks. And it is the largest exhibit we have here at Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. But um, we're going to be focusing, like I said, on the sandbar sharks right now. We have three of them in this exhibit. Here's one coming towards us right now. We have two females and one male. Here's one of the sandbars swimming by right there. We can definitely tell them all apart. First off, the male's going to have claspers under its tail. But even without looking for the claspers, we spend enough time with these animals that we can tell the difference between them. Just like how you have had a, if you had a few dogs, you could tell them apart in a very similar way. Um, we feed these sharks three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, typically, right around 10.30 or 11 o'clock in the morning. We give them a varied diet of several types of fish and even occasional shrimp and squid. Right now, we're feeding them bonita, herring, blue runner, mullet, mackerel, maybe even some salmon and some capelin tossed in there. And they get vitamins that were formulated by our veterinary staff to replace any of the nutrients lost during the freezing and thawing process. All the seafood that we feed to the sharks is treated in the same way it would be treated if it were being shipped to a restaurant. And we make sure all the food is sustainably caught as well. All of our sharks are target trained. So you can see their targets kind of standing up on the back part of the exhibit right there. And uh, we use some aluminum tongs to feed them and uh, train them through positive reinforcement. There comes one of our, our female sandbars right there in front of us. What a beautiful shark. You've probably noticed that our sandbar sharks have been in constant motion while our curator Matt has been talking with us. However, some sharks, affectionately called carpet sharks, can rest on the bottom of the ocean and still breathe. Let's check in with another set of biologists who care for more of Moat's sharks. So these guys are our epaulette sharks and our coral cat sharks. Um, these are all Indo-Pacific species, um, so they're not local to our, our local waters. Um, these guys are a really cool species of sharks because they can actually walk around using their pectoral fins. So most sharks, um, you kind of think of them as having to continue swimming in order to keep breathing. These guys can sit down on the bottom and they'll kind of use their pectoral fins and move around like that. Um, so these guys get fed three times a week. They get fed a varied diet. So today we're giving them some squid. Um, we'll also feed them shrimp and silver sides sometimes too to, to vary it up for them. Everybody has their own target. So Rebecca is feeding our, our male epaulette sharks. Um, I was feeding our female epaulette sharks, and then Amy was feeding the two coral cat sharks. So everybody has their own target that they come to. We try to give them some gel food sometimes too. Um, if they are sitting at their target but they've already received all their food, um, we want to keep rewarding them for sitting at their target because that's the behavior we want to see. Um, so we give them a uh, basically clear gel that doesn't have any calories so we can still give them a reward without increasing their diet. So while it would be normal to see an epaulette shark sitting on the bottom, it certainly would not be for one of these sandbar sharks. They're constantly swimming. But I'd certainly like to thank you all for joining us, me here today for a little look at our sandbar sharks. <laughs>